All right, guys, I'm about to work on a new cup. And this is how they look before I do anything to them. It's nice and shiny, a nice and shiny stainless steel cup. This one happens to have a rubber grip at the bottom. All of them don't come with it. And that's the top. And it's very nice and shiny. So I'm about to go sand it now and get it ready to get um, colored. Okay, guys. Um, this is how the cup looks after I sand it down. You see it looks a little less shiny and it's look kind of scratched and scarred up, scuffed up. See all those scuff marks? This is how it needs to be so the epoxy can hold better onto the cup. So now, I'm about to get started. Turn the turner on and mix some of this mica powder in my epoxy like I did for my cup. This is going to be more of a Dallas Cowboy theme cup, more of a Dallas Cowboy cup, the colors. Okay, so I'm mixing that clear epoxy with this blue. And I turned my ring light out because I did a little experiment and it looked basically the same with the ring light on or off. So it gets somebody to look a little dark doing it this way, but putting it under that light. It's a pretty blue color. It actually looked different on camera. It looks a little a different, like a different color blue, a little lighter. But anyway. So I need to get a glove and get started. And I'm this whole glove four part. Brand new glove. The whole glove was already was already messed up. Okay. So now Give it a little stir, one more last little stir. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know if you guys hear my breathing in there or not, but lately my breathing has been different. I have, have asthma, but allergies and things are messing with me, so yeah. I just hope this is enough. And it look like it might not be. But we're going to try. I don't know what I was thinking. Mm. Yep. I'm about to mix some more epoxy. And I'm going to work this, work with this because it might turn out to be enough. I don't think so, though. I really don't think so. It doesn't take long to mix epoxy. Yeah, this is definitely not enough. I want to even it out on a cup so I can kind of know how much to measure. But it might turn out to be enough because I look like I, I have some a little more than what I need in some spots. So I ain't going to count it out just yet. Looks 
some of these spots right here. I put more there. And if I hit the camera and it jiggle a little bit, please excuse it. I'm right up on the camera. Well, this just might work. Might be enough. I'm hoping. Down a sec. There's a spot right up in here. Yep. Yeah. It turned out to be that it worked out to be enough. Like little bubbles that I see. I'm bursting with my hand, my fingers. And then I'm gonna rub the cup down again because where I touched it with my fingers, it's like it'll clear up, but it'll take kind of a little minute. So it'll take a little bit to clear up. Yeah, steam bubbles. Okay, I don't see any more bubbles. And that's what I'm looking for. I'm quiet, guys, because I'm, I'm looking to see if I see any bubbles, and I don't. And let me look at the bottom of the cup. Okay, that look like that has enough on it. Got a little teeny bit left. Okay. Get it right. Wipe my hand with this baby wipe. Baby wipes, these are really good for cleanup for this type of uh, uh, okay, I had to uh, get something off the floor, that popsicle stick. I didn't want that epoxy sticking in my floor. So the colors I'm working with today, I'm doing working with four colors. As I said, it's more of like a Dallas Cowboy like thing. So one is just it's called Snow. It's called Snow, but it's just a white white color. This is called Ash, but it's a black color. And this is Sapphire, which is a blue color. 
And then I'm going to use some of the mixative silver, which is a silver color. So now I'm trying to figure what do I want to start with. And I'm not sure. I'm trying to think if I want to mix the colors in together or if I want to put them like in one spot. Uh, that's what I haven't decided yet. For now, that's how I'm going to mix it like that. Because I'm not really sure which how I want to go with this. But I'm going to do that first. Oh, goodness. I meant to take that thing off. That always happens when you don't pull those caps off. It'll fade out though. It might have it got the little marks in it now, but it'll fade out. Oh wow, this is my this is my first time using this this color, so that's probably it's not dripping out the way the other color did. Oh, it ain't going on the floor.
Okay, I'm gonna get a little bit of the ash. I just wanna see how that's gonna look on it. I ain't dropping the way I want to. Come on. There we go. Oh, I didn't mean that one. Ooh. Way more than I anticipated. <laughs> on coming off fell out, but it's okay. It's not going to mess anything up. Okay, I think that's good. So now we're going to do some swirling on it. And I'm at the different angle. My, I work the opposite way. Uh, but it's still looking like it's turning out pretty decent. Baby white. Now I'm going to put some heat to it before I add any silver. I'm going to get it to moving. You're not putting any glitter on this cup because this cup is for a guy, for a male, Dallas Cowboy fan, Calvin. Okay, it's starting to move. Yep. 
It's starting. Okay, you can see it's starting to move, starting to swirl. I mean, starting to, um, epoxy is moving now. Yes. Yes, it's pretty. It actually looked like it already have gray in it, and I didn't put any gray. Um, but that ash, that ash color is mixing with something, and it's making it look gray. It's pretty. And that's, you know, that, that's pretty. <coughs> okay, so now I'm going to put a little, a little silver. Let me have a minute. Get a little silver going. I really don't even want to put any, uh, anything on it because it's so pretty. Oh my goodness, this is gorgeous. step bubble. I see a bubble that I just put down like that one right there. There it goes. Alright, let me look at it because I don't want the silver to take over. Just want a couple of little spots of silver that I'm going to just a tad bit more and that will be it. more places okay that's it I want to get the camera and down and let you guys see it from my view. Okay, guys, this is my view. Isn't that beautiful? You see how those big blocks, that silver just take over. You saw how small they were when I put the silver on there? You don't be careful with that silver. That silver will completely take over, but it's gorge. It is gorge. Okay, so now what I need to have to do is let this spin for 8 to 12 hours, then come back and put another coat of epoxy on it for another 8 to 12 hours, then three days for curing. So um, I think by now you guys should know the drill, but I'll be back when the cup is completely finished to let you see the finished product. Yep, I forgot, but here is the, the view of the bottom of the cup.
Okay guys, I'm back with the finished product. And if you guys remember, and I'm sure you do, when the cup had those big silver blotches on it, I just filled those blotches in with the helmets, with silver helmets and blue stars, and some footballs. And I also wrote the word cowboys on it. Because it's inspired by the Dallas Cowboys. This is Calvin's Cup. He's a Dallas Cowboys fan. This cup is really pretty. And the words, the footballs, the helmets, all this stuff is under the epoxy. So once I put this stuff on the cup, I put another um, coating of epoxy on the cup. So it's underneath of it. But for the most part, it's really pretty. So, yep, that's it. So, thank you guys for um, tuning in. Thank you guys for watching the video. And for those of you that watched the entire video, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Hope you got something from it, learned something. Um, one thing I can say, a lot of t the reason I think a lot of folks, as well as myself, don't get into certain things is because things are very costly. Even if the product itself is easy to create, you have to worry about the overhead, all expenses you have to pay to just get all the materials just to create the product. And then you have to worry about it selling and you making your money back and then some. So uh, for all the things I'm doing, this stuff is costly, but um, prayerfully and thankfully that I, I am selling and people are actually liking my stuff and they're actually buying it. So... Again, thanks you guys for tuning in. I ask that you like, subscribe, comment, share, click the bell, and click all. And that will notify you every time I upload a video. So this is the V, which is me, and I am signing out. See you guys on the next one.